colonize her but according to them. I'd like to acknowledge the Gandhi people of the Eora Nation, the beautiful custodians of this land, and pay my respect to Congress, both past and present. Karen and Sol welcome you here today to share with them their joining together as one. This is a joyous occasion for them, if they have decided to seal their love with this marriage, and have invited us to share in their identity. Family and friends are important to Aaron and Sol as our rights and preference, and marriage is one of the most important rights that we follow. It's a sharing of goals and decision making, a commitment from the heart and mind based on mutual love, trust, respect, and the understanding that from now on each partner will consider the other's desires and needs as equal to their own. Real love between two people is unconditional and perhaps the highest experience that is possible for humankind. Such love reduces selfishness, deepens personalities, because when a man and a woman find this kind of joy and happiness in their lives, it says something to all mankind of the possibilities in life. Aaron and Sol, your marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. Marriage partners are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, listener, and guide. Before you're joined in marriage, in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, I want to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship you're about to enter into. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Today, Sol's mother gets her daughter in marriage to Aaron. However, this does not mean that her love and caring for her is also given away. The love between a mother and her daughter is one that cannot be measured and can never cease to exist, but it can be shared. And so, mindful of these values, I ask you, do you, Jong Jia, give your daughter to the care of Aaron? Thank you. <laughs> Aaron, will you take Sol to be your lawful wife, to share your life with her? And do you pledge that you will love, honor, and care for her with tenderness and affection through all the varying experiences of your life? So, will you take Aaron to be your lawful husband, to share your life with him? And do you pledge that you will love, honor, and care for him with tenderness and affection through all the varying experiences of your life? So then I now join my life with you. I call upon the person present to witness.